Well, today I got a little new little tripod doohickey uh, a couple weeks ago from Telecast, but cast on Instagram yesterday, kind of a prelude to our ever bright ministries uh, session. Um, <clears throat> today, I hope you are well. Amen. I hope everybody's doing well today in Jesus' name. I don't have the so anyway guys I guess YouTube's trying to do something weird here so anyway we hope you're doing well I should have signal here it's nice four or five G area so um we're gonna talk a little bit about BC mowing amen and uh, we've kind of taken a little hiatus from that uh it might be until next spring maybe we'll come on with some uh snow blowing uh broadcast from the house or something like that guys but uh you know it's starting to get that time of year where the grass doesn't grow and uh with me being kind of i hate to say shy to ask people to mow their grass for them uh that just kind of leaves it kind of uh, up in the wind amen uh we might go back to the park find out what's going on there if we need to mow something uh, this coming weekend uh, i hope to be at rabbi david's house on saturday night um we'll see how that goes amen and uh, out in Dalton, ohio about two hours and 30 minutes away from here to the east northeast amen um this weekend was good i guess there were upwards of 35 plus salvations at lima first church where my wife patty and i've been attending uh since february of 2021 and if you know anything about this specific church, Lima First Dot Church, you can look them up on the internet. And amazing stuff there going on with salvations, over 1,200 salvations already. Um, probably close to 1,250 salvations now um, for the year. And we're, we're only in the, the mid part of October, guys. So. Uh, as it gets closer to Christmas time, people are going to be feeling the Christmas season. They're going to be feeling that time that, you know, we celebrate Christ's birth. Um, and people are going to want to come into the house of God even more so, I believe. Amen. Especially with what all is going on in uh, the nations of the world. Amen. And, and the wicked players behind the things that are going on. I have to be careful on YouTube what I talk about. Uh, so I can't talk about that little country in the Middle East that's the size of New Jersey, I guess. Um, <laughs> I, heard, I was thinking of this new channel that I picked up uh, from this lady. Uh, pretty awesome lady uh, YouTuber. And uh, she's actually, she started her channel just by being a health uh person telling people how they could be more healthy and have more vibrant lifestyle and uh, in their body right feeling good in their body and uh, she all of a sudden uh, felt compelled to uh, begin to be an activist for truth and for common sense amen and so um, I'm, I might if I find out how to leave a link in the comments section after the broadcast here I might do that Amen. Okay. We'll pray that diesel prices and gas prices continue to go down, guys. Amen. This broadcast is not going to be very long. I wanted to get in touch with you guys again today, uh, reminding you about Ever Bright Ministries on Facebook, um, where God is doing a mighty work. I didn't say I was doing a good work. I'm just sowing the seed. I'm just a willing participant that God is the one who shows up on the scene via the Holy Spirit uh, through his, uh, uh, by his angels uh, coming and uh, ministering to us, uh, amen. And so um, we're just blessed, amen. And so we want to give Jesus all the praise for that, amen. Realizing that we have a part to play. I hear people sometimes say, oh, you know, it's not about me, it's about Jesus. And sometimes I even catch myself saying that. But actually, without human beings, yeah, God could do it himself. 
he could move upon all flesh, which he's going to do via his Holy Spirit here in the near future, but it's, it's a, he's actually brooding within people right now, uh, pricking people's hearts uh, and minds to the realization that Jesus is the straight and narrow gate. He is the way to eternal life. And uh, sometimes we, sometimes because maybe, maybe we're stubborn and we don't want to come to God or we don't, or we want to stay in our sin or whatever, or maybe we just had so many disappointments in our lives that we, you know, kind of diss God, we throw him to the side or put him under the bus or whatever, uh, put him on the shelf. And, and sometimes it takes a tragedy in the family or in the community for uh, people to all of a sudden get that, that lightning, that spiritual lightning bolt go through them to say, hey, I know, I've, I've been neglecting Jesus and I, I need to put him first in my life and they start making steps uh, toward God, you know, and that's the neat thing because once they start making steps toward God, uh, then he will make steps toward them. Amen? Hallelujah. Well, we're getting in toward the town of Crytersville, which is kind of a neighboring town to the south of Fort Shawnee, Ohio. And uh, I'm going to get gas here at the Casey's. And uh, I probably will stop the broadcast then. But if there's anybody that would like to know Jesus as Savior and Lord of your life, uh, let's go ahead and uh, ask him to come into our heart, be our Lord and Savior today. Dear Jesus, I thank you for being my, my spiritual daddy. I thank you for being my Lord. I thank you for being my Savior and my King. I thank you that, you, God, you raised Jesus from the dead on the third day. Dear Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I surrender my life completely, 100% to you. And I ask you to help me to read, read your word every day. I ask you to help me to listen to your Bible app every day. I ask you to help me to praise and worship you every day. And I ask you to help me to... Uh, sow seeds of kindness into people's lives, uh, sharing with them the love of Jesus, that they may come to know you, Jesus, as I have today. And it's in your name, Lord Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, we bless all of you today. We speak life over all of you today. If you could keep my son in prayer today, um, his mom, uh, his birthday, her birthday is today, and she went home to be with Jesus about seven years ago, and it's still kind of hard on him. Amen. So if you would lift him up in prayer today, uh, that would be really nice. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless you all today. We hope you have a good day. We, we, we speak healing signs, wonders, recreated miracles, and people being raised from the dead today in Jesus' name, and we speak uh, miracles, signs, wonders, recreative miracles, and people being raised from the dead, that even your shadow will heal people today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We bless you. So from Casey's uh, Grocery Mini Mart gas station here in Crytersville, Ohio, uh, we bless you. Amen. Shalom.